Hi hey folks, I've just built a rocket stove out of a clamp pot <laughs> uh, inspired by, I think it was Gene Longhorn he uh, did a concrete one, well a couple of years ago I think it was so I'll put a link to that and uh, because I've done it, well it sort of started as a plant pot and ended up as almost something else now so have a look, tell me what you think any uh, suggestions and ideas are, wel are welcome comments as well like uh, as I say started as a rocket eater and might end up as an oven <laughs> I hope so I'll basically show you what I've, what I've done here this is like a rocket stove I've done this is only it is only four inch I'd go for six inch it's nice and warm now because I was burning it it's uh, it's just half past twelve now so it's handleable and uh, the guy did it in in a plastic bucket one of the guys uh, I'll put his name up, but he did a plastic bucket from a couple of years ago. But I liked the idea of these, and I had a plant pot and some cement and some vermiculite, so I thought I'd give this a pop. It works quite well, as you'll probably see in a minute. But what I did, and I thought, well, I wanted more drawer on it, so these are just a couple of cans what I've pressed together, and then I thought, well, I've got this other plant pot. <laughs> And working on like thinking about them greenhouse heaters with plant pots and stuff, I sort of got got that in my head. But what I'm thinking about now, I like the J shape of the inlet. So what I'm thinking about is cutting that and fitting it to the side and having that as me having there to feed my wood and having burn burning across and under and up. Uh, I might do another one a little bit well. I might overlook see how much it stuff is and make a bit one that's quite a bit bigger. But I've also because I've been playing with this now, my old barbecue could do with a refurb and I'm thinking I wonder if well, I know I can. If I play with this and get it running right, I'm gonna build an oven and a and a grill into me or a hot plate into me barbecue. I'll give you a look at that. Now this is old. I'll give you a look. Old barbecue. I built this about eight years ago, but you've got to have a very big fire. Well, you do have to have a very big fire in it, and a lot of bricks have cracked up. So, what I'm thinking is if I can put sort of a, uh, a rocket stove burner rocky. underneath, no this is cracked, so I could take this slab out. Uh, but if I could put a rocket burner underneath, insulate it. I've sort of, yes, maybe even yes. some sort of oven at that height, I don't know. Yes, Run hot air around it and yes, have that running yes, under yes, a plate. Yes, yeah, a spider, I know. Spider. Having, having that running under a plate in here, this area, and then obviously I've got a grill there and an oven somewhere in between. And I've pipe, I've exhaust pipe running out so that it runs under the grill, the hot air, and runs up to the top. That's the thought, and it'd be a lot uh, more economical than how much wood we burn. And it might probably make a good outside kitchen, you know what I mean? No electricity in this house. We've got no cooking, other than other than that. <laughs> what is it? Is it a worm? Worm. Oh. So I'm gonna try and get this up to a boil. minute and the time is now ten twenty seven see that ten twenty seven so see how it goes how long it takes I ain't got any dry sticks I'm just having to chop some bits of scrap from garage because the weather is so fantastic. So it's now 10.46 found a bit more wood that would dry and then it's just about there onto a rolling boil I can't see how much water there is in there to be honest I just thought I'd see how long it'd take and what I'd do if I do this again well I will do this again 
I'm going to have a bit of a play around with this and experiment with it, but that's nice and warm now. That's nice and warm now. I wonder if I'm going to see if I'm, well, I need a meat thermometer. I'm going to put a meat thermometer inside there and see if I could use it as sort of an oven as well, as well as an hot plate, you know. I'd extend that and put a bigger, this is only about, this is not the, yeah, the width of the hole. It's about four inch, so six inch would be a lot better. Bigger pots. And it doesn't look bad on the patio. It's quite pleasing to the eye. The idea of it anyway. Nice to be nice. <laughs>